I'm changing out my hard drive on my Macintosh G4 PowerBook, and I thought since I was doing it, it'd be a nice little time to do an instructional video about it. I've done this a couple times, so I figured I could give some tips and pointers that maybe might help somebody else along the way. A um, couple tools you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a small set of electronic screwdrivers. Basically, they're just like a Torx bit, only they're tiny. The one you're going to want is a T8. The reason why I end up getting the set is because where I bought this, this was actually cheaper than buying this by itself by like five bucks. So I ended up with this set. What you're going to want to do, first and foremost, you want to take your battery out. This is kind of no-brainer stuff. You should have it unplugged. Once again, no-brainer stuff, right? There's seven screws in the back of the uh, back of the Mac. You're going to want to take those out. For time constraints, I went ahead and removed six of them already. Um, pretty easy to take out. Just a normal screw. If you don't know how to unscrew things, stop. Walk away from your computer now. And go pay someone to do this. I mean this. Okay. A uh, little trick that you might want to do, get yourself a little Petri dish or something to keep your screws in. Um, I've done it on the floor and I've done it on the table before and this by far is the best bet because you won't lose them. Once again, no brainer, but it's some of the things you don't think of. Once you get that undone, you just kind of have to pry it apart. And you get your fingers underneath here. And mine have, mine's come apart a couple times, so it's a little bit haggard. But uh, pretty much it's going to look like this. You're gentle with it. And you're going to get this. This piece should not, the plastic piece shouldn't separate like mine, but that's because the glue is wearing off. No big deal. All right. Put this somewhere where it won't get dirty. And what you got, what you're looking at is the inside of your Mac for the first time. Take a gander at it. Ooh, it's so pretty. All right. Here's what we're doing. This bad boy right here. This is what you want. This is what we want to get done right here. So what we're going to do, and what I do just for the, the sake of, uh, I don't know, peace of mind, is that first of all, I put a nice... Um, towel on my coffee table for two reasons. One, this won't jack up my coffee table. Two, uh, hopefully I won't jack up the Mac. I've also left it open with the screen hanging down so I won't crack the screen in case I get a little bit too overzealous with unscrewing stuff here. All right, the way I do this thing, and a lot of people, you may look it up on the net, and a lot of people may tell you differently, but this is what works for me. It's the easiest for me. Here's what you do. You got one little black screw here towards the front of the machine. You can screw that one like so. What's great about this is that it only takes this one size screwdriver so once you get the one you know the, the T8 you're good. Alright the other thing I do which I haven't seen but I do because it's easier is that there's two silver screws on your left hand side right here and right here right here and right here. Alright I remove those and the reason why I remove those and I'll show you later is that there's uh, these rubber grommets that hold the drive in and um, if you take this part out and the plastic piece associated with it, you don't have to fight with the grommet so badly. You don't have to do a little angle thing you'll see online. All right, take this piece off. Don't lose it. It's that simple. All right. Next thing you want to do is the piece, the first black screw over here. This loosens this part of the uh, of the housing. You could actually lift it up carefully. Don't manhandle it. Carefully lift it up and push it to your right. What that allows you to do is to freely work this drive out, and there you go, drives out. You take off this little plastic piece here, which protects it from arcing out on the bottom. And what you got here is the ribbon cable. What I'm doing with the ribbon cable next, and I'll try to position this where you guys can see it. All right, it doesn't look like it, but this thing actually comes off your motherboard. All you got to do is take your finger back there and gently pop it off, and there you go. It's a lot easier to work with this way than dealing with it on your board. Alright, once that's undone, all you really got to do is remove the screws in the four rubber grommets that are on this thing. Um, they pop off with your hand, which I would suggest doing so you don't lose them because you need those. And the last thing you want to do is stop this project because you lost or you broke a piece. Remove the four screws. Done and done. Okay, what you want to do now is separate the ribbon cable from the drive. I tend to use a little jeweler's screw here, a little flathead, standard screwdriver. You just kind of put it in the in the uh, on the sides, and it pops it up ever so slightly. I'd film this, but I kind of need to pay attention to what I'm doing. All right, once it gets start going, all right, here's what it looks like. Once you get a little end popped up, what you do is that you put your screwdriver in there, and you don't torque on it. You just go like this, and you twist up. And as you twist upward, the ribbon cable lifts up from the uh, from the drive. One of the things you got to make sure you're not doing is putting this and jamming it in between the pins and torquing the pins out. You don't want to do that. All right, once it gets about halfway up, you can put your fingernail in there, your thumbnail, and kind of kick the thing out. There you go. 
Installation is just as easy as putting it on. Go like this. This is an idiot proof cable. It only goes on one, one way. All right, so if you're putting this thing on and it doesn't fit, don't push it down. You probably need to reverse it. It's really easy to really really easy to do it. The silver side, it goes like this. So pretend like this little wing on a car. It's got to look like this. It doesn't look like this. It looks like this. Anyways, you put it on like so, and I got to be careful about this because I bent the hell out of this fucking pins on my driver. Ready? Once you get it on there like that, go ahead and flatten her down with equal pressure. There you go. All right, now you dig out the four parts. I guess I should have left those out for time issues, but the four grommets and the four stubby black screws that you took out earlier, and you put those back in. All right, now that all the screws are in place, let's put the grommets in, flat side towards the drive. Self-explanatory when I say flat side towards the drive. I don't have to show you that. Once you get it out, you're going to know that if there's a small side and a larger flat side, and you put the larger flat side for it to drive. Once that's in there, you line this bad boy up with this. It only goes one direction. There should not be any excess hanging off your drive. It should fit just like this with nothing extra on that side. All right? Then what you do is you put it back in. And this is where this part, where I took this part off earlier, this is where it really comes in handy because now you can actually just drop the damn drive in there. You gotta kinda have to angle it up with the uh, right hand side there because that part doesn't come off. But it's a lot easier than fighting and cussing with the whole thing. Because your, uh, what you call it, your uh, right hand side just kinda fits into place there. Right, I gotta lift it up a bit, just a notch. If you have to adjust it like this, like I'm fighting with it right now, if you have to, that's fine. Make sure you gently do it. Don't force this. This isn't a strong arm, strong arm competition. Most importantly, um, make sure you do it on the opposite side of the paper, uh, the paper, whatever the plastic shield you put it on. That way you don't jack up your drive. Just make sure it's all nice and even. I don't think it matters that much. All right, once that's in place like so, Put the ribbon cable back into place. And the only way I could suggest doing this is you just kind of feel around. Um, the one word I'm going to say a lot is not to do is do not manhandle this. It is not a strongman competition. You can jack this up very easily if you start beating on it. So, find a little. It goes in there. And I got to get a bird's eye view or a worm's view if you're in the A team. Uh -huh. I dated myself for saying that. And there we go. Just gently make sure everything's nice and connected. All right, then you put it back. This is one, once again, this part's also idiot proof. There's no way to put it in wrong. So that's not that. There. I guess that the downfall of putting everything in a bucket, everything looks the same. Uh, the screws are actually quite different when you do this, so it's almost impossible to get them jacked up. So you screw this one down. Finger tight. You don't have to torque it down. You're not rebuilding an engine here. You're replacing a drive. Alright then. You pretty much just put it back together the way, it, the way I showed you how to take it apart. Doesn't matter what order you do this in. Once it drives in, it's pretty much your own game at this time. Alright. Well, that's it. All you got to do now Put this bad boy back on. Put the screws back in. I tend to put the middle one in first. Don't ask me why. I just tend to put the middle one back in first. All right. Replace the other six screws. Put the battery in. Plug it in. Power it up. Well, that's it. Hope this was helpful. Put um, helpful for you, to you, whatever. Um, and I figured I'd show it online because what the hell? I'm sure there's about 20 other ones just like it. But uh, I'm getting rid of this bad boy, so I thought I'd. Uh, you know, if I would have seen a video like this when I did this the first time, it would have been a really quick process instead of the hour and a half that it took me originally. All right, I'm out. Enjoy yourself. Have fun with your Max.